Prince Harry photo giddy Simon Kellner four hours Wednesday, September 27, 2017 It is not ordinarily a vote winner for an MP to insult personally two of her own constituents, but Emma Dentcote, the elected representative for Kensington, must have known what she was doing when she verbally attacked the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at the Labour Party conference in Brighton. As befits a descendant of the Borgias, Ms. Dancode took no prisoners in her assault on the royals, mocking Prince Harry's war record, insinuating that Prince Philip was unfaithful to the Queen, and saying that it was disgusting that the Duchess of Cambridge would spend £150 on a piece of knitwear when that's a food bill for a family of four. Ms. Dancode is a red-blooded Republican who doesn't believe that the royal family should be paid out of the public purse. Of the Cambridges, whose home is at Kensington Palace, she said their MP thinks the system is ridiculous. We should not be funding them. A folk hero in Labour circles Emma Dentcote, Labour MP for Kensington, also criticised the BBC's coverage of the royal family Reuters in overturning the Tory hegemony in Kensington and taking the seat at the last election by only 20 votes, Ms. Dentcote, of the Corbynite tendency, is something of a folk hero in Labour circles and was speaking at a conference fringe event, no doubt to an enthusiastic reception. The fringes at all political conferences are just that home to ideas and discussions which don't sit in the mainstream and indeed sometimes represent the wilder edges of political debate. Most fringe events do not even register on the Geiger counter of public interest, so Ms. Dentcode was probably taken aback by the strong reaction to her comments. Maybe she thought she was talking just to her supportive audience, but it's hard to reconcile her vile remarks about Prince Harry's military service with someone who purports to be a responsible public servant. And it's no surprise either that she found herself on the front page of the organ she most reviles, the sun. Harry can't actually fly a helicopter, she said. He tried to pass the helicopter exam about four times and he couldn't get through it all, so he just sits there going vroom vroom. I have Republican leanings myself, but this is as outrageous a slur as Donald Trump's thoughtless and baseless disparaging of Muslims serving in the U.S. Army. It was not exactly good timing either, in the week that Harry is presiding over the Invictus Games for wounded servicemen. She got her facts wrong Prince Harry sits in the front seat of the cockpit, where he has served as an Apache helicopter pilot gunner with 662 SQD Army Air Corps Getty Images most egregious, she got her facts wrong. Harry is a qualified Apache helicopter pilot who has a decade of military service behind him, including two tours in Afghanistan, where he served as a gunner. Ms. Dentcode, whose own record of achievements extends to writing a number of books on architecture and design, has a bit of previous in making wild assertions. She said that Sir Martin Murebik should be replaced as head of the Grenfell Tower inquiry because he does not understand human beings, when pressed, she had no evidence for this and excoriated Kensington and Chelsea Council for letting down the residents of Grenfell, it was an entirely preventable tragedy, she said, blithely ignoring the fact that she had been a leading figure on the council for almost a decade. Senior Labour figures are now busy apologizing for Emma Dentcote's comments about the royals, but the MP herself is thus far unrepentant, which adds bad manners to bad politics. In